Who are you in your friend group? There are never two people alike in a friend group. Moreover, most of us can be easily divided into five different friend archetypes. So, which one are you? Let's find out! Before you discover which role you're playing among your best friends, be sure you hit the subscribe and ring the notification bell to join us on the Bright Side of Life. Okay, so the instructions for this test are pretty simple. 10 questions with 5 options. A, B, C, D, or E to choose from. All you have to do is answer honestly and keep track of your answers. At the end, your most frequently chosen letter will reveal who you are in your friend group. So let's start with… Question number 1. What do you most pride yourself on? A. My responsibility. I'm definitely the person you can rely on. B. My free-spirited nature. I rarely follow the crowd. C. My caring personality. I'm always there when my friends need me. D. My sense of humor. I can make anyone's day brighter within seconds. E. My imagination. I have a whole other fantastic world in my head. Question number 2. What's your spirit animal? A. Eagle B. Wolf C. Dog D. Monkey E. Swan Question number 3. How would you describe your style? A. Classic and conservative. B. Badass and rock and roll. C. Casual and comfortable. D. Risky and unique. E. Elegant and light. Question number 4. You have a movie night at a friend's house. What movie do you want to watch? A. A detective or thriller with a twisted plot and unexpected ending. B. I'm up for any horror movie you can find. C. A rom-com. D. A comedy, of course. E. Something inspirational and positive. Question number 5. What's your dream career? A. I would love to be a teacher or a psychologist. B. I want to do something creative like being a singer, actress, or director. C. Definitely a doctor. D. I think being a blogger or TV show host would suit me the best. E. I think writing or painting is my true calling. Question number 6. What's your biggest flaw? A. I can be quite controlling sometimes. B. I usually talk without thinking, which gets me in trouble. C. It's hard for me to stand up for myself. D. I run away from confrontation and serious conversation. E. I'm often out of touch with reality. My head is almost always in the clouds. Question number 7. What's your favorite social media platform? A. I don't do social media. B. Instagram for sure. C. Facebook. D. Tumblr any day. E. Pinterest. Question number 8. Your friends usually come to you for A. Help B. An honest opinion C. Advice D. Fun E. New ideas Question number 9. Pick the emoji you use the most. A. A simple smiling face 
B. The one with the cool black sunglasses. C. A heart. D. Laughing crying emoji. E. Sparkles. Question number 10. You and your friends are at a huge party. What are you doing? A. Keeping an eye on my friends to make sure they don't do something stupid. B. I'm giving my all on the dance floor. C. I'm helping out with food and drinks. D. I'm in the corner somewhere laughing with my best butts. E. I don't even think I would go to that party. I'm probably at home reading my favorite book and drinking hot chocolate. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the last question of the test. So hurry up and count how many times you used each letter, because the results are already in. If your most frequently used letter is A, you're the mom of the group. You're very responsible, organized, and reserved, and you always try to make sure that everyone's safe and having a good time. Even though your friends may tease you for it a little bit, they still love and appreciate your rational mind and your ability to be there for them no matter what. However, your desire to be in control of everything can be a serious issue for your friends. Sometimes they just want to have fun and do something crazy with you. But your well-ordered nature doesn't let you do that. Try to give yourself a break every once in a while. The world definitely won't collapse if you let loose from time to time. If you mostly went for B, you're the cool rebel of the bunch. You're independent, opinionated, confident, and full of fun and exciting stories to tell. You're usually the one to organize pranks or propose crazy schemes to your group. At the same time, you're quite impulsive and emotional, which can lead to conflicts and misunderstandings among you and your friends. Still, you're always pushing them to be unapologetically themselves and bring even more fun and spontaneity into their lives, and they endlessly value your friendship for that. Another possible problem, though, is that it's often hard for you to talk about sensitive topics and really open your heart to somebody since you're so used to maintaining a cool and unbothered facade. Don't forget that we're all struggling with something, and being vulnerable doesn't make you weak. If answers under the letter C were your personal faves, you're the peacemaker of the group. You're a very genuine, sincere, and kind person who's always ready to give a helping hand to anyone who needs it. You're the friend everybody seeks comfort and advice from because you're a good listener and a really wise person. These qualities also help you keep your group from breaking apart whenever everybody suddenly starts to fight. Your friends are very lucky to have someone like you in their lives. But your kind-hearted and caring nature has its downsides too, and the main one is that you often forget to dedicate time to yourself. You're so willing to solve everybody else's problems that you barely have time to figure out your own life. Make it a rule to detox from others and spend more time with yourself. After all, it's you that should be your main priority, not somebody else. If the majority of your answers were D's, you're the fun clown of your group. You're usually the one who always throws sarcastic and hilarious comments to make everybody around you cry with laughter. You like to kindly tease your friends and make fun of them, but you never cross the line, so they know that it's all for a good laugh. But your impeccable sense of humor isn't your only weapon. You are very sweet and protective, and you have a huge heart. But in one way, you're very similar to the rebel type, as it can be hard for you to talk about something personal and reveal your true feelings. You always try to crack a joke to avoid serious conversation, and, as a result, you bottle up a lot of your emotions. Try to take small steps toward being more open with your buddies and show them your sensitive side. Finally, if most of your answers are ease, you're the baby of your group. You're sweet and innocent, and you have a very vivid imagination, which allows you to come up with the most creative solutions. You have tons of hobbies, and you're passionate about pretty much all of them. And your ability to think outside of the box makes you an even better creator. Your friends usually get inspired after spending time with you and go home with tons of amazing ideas of their own, and the confidence that everything is possible. But despite all that, you can be very impractical and clueless at times since you spend most of your time in your dreams forgetting about the real world. 
Do your best to find a perfect balance between living in the moment and having your head in the clouds, and your life will become even more colorful and interesting. So, what results did you get? Tell us in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe. Stay on the Bright Side!